Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 8 recaps and analysis. This video is for the game between the New York Jets and the Cincinnati Bengals. An absolute blowout uh, for the Bengals, 49-9 to at home. They drubbed the Jets, who moved to 4-4. Four and four. Uh, The Bengals um, now move to 6-2 and two on the season. And look, the Bengals uh, have developed a lot of consistency here. Seems like that 17-6 to loss at Cleveland was ages ago. They've played a lot better since then. Andy Dalton over 300 yards again, threw for five touchdowns, four of those going to Marvin Lewis, who had 122 yards and four touchdowns, setting a franchise record for the Bengals. And you know, from a Jets standpoint, two Geno Smith interceptions get returned for touchdowns, which sort of uh, you know uh, you know added to what was an awful day for the Jets. Uh, there was a point in this game where the Jets were still in the game after in, after Muhammad Wilkerson intercepted an Andy Dalton pass. Um, you knew when the Jets didn't cash that in for a touchdown, uh, it might be one of the only opportunities they had to get back into the game. The Bengals had four touchdown drives in the first half. They had two interception returns for touchdowns in the third quarter, and all three phases of the game played extremely well for the Bengals today. And you see that even though they have been going through some injuries um, on both sides of the ball, on the offensive line most notably, and on, on the defense uh, more in particular where they lost Leon Hall, Ray, Malu Ray Maliuga has been uh, banged up, among others. Uh, you, this team, I know they, they talk about the next man up mentality in the NFL. It's sort of a played out cliche most of the time. But this team has the depth um, and has the wherewithal, I think, to make a significant run in the AFC. Uh, they, you know, they separate themselves even more from the rest of the division with you know, Cincinnati winning. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland losing and Baltimore on a bye this week. So, you know, the Bengals definitely headed in the right direction. Andy Dalton seems like he's turned a corner. The difference for the Jets today was, you know, their secondary isn't good enough to play well if they're not getting help from the front end. And the Jets only had one sack today, which also was from Muhammad Wilkerson. So Wilkerson was the lone bright spot, I thought, with a sack and an interception today for the Jets. But you know, you know, Cincinnati wasn't able to run the ball. It was that pass defense of the Jets that was really exposed. And um, going forward, you know, the Jets are sort of the opposite on defense than they have been in years past. In years past, they were weren't able to put pressure on the quarterback without blitzing, but were excellent in the secondary. This year, it's reversed, um, and their front four or front not even front four, but front seven had a rough time getting after Andy Dalton today. But uh, hey, give Cincinnati credit again. Neither team really gained traction running the ball. And that Cincinnati defense rose to the occasion a little bit more, or a lot more, than the Jets defense. And Cincinnati just played well in all facets and, and crushed the Jets, to be quite honest. And uh, I think you'll start hearing Cincinnati's name um, as one to be reckoned with in the AFC. Guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at Analysis. Remember, Cincinnati has a short week. They'll play against Miami on Thursday night. And the Jets will travel will travel back home, actually, to take on New Orleans next week as well. Another tough game for the Jets. Guys, hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week. And I'm always talking the news of the day here on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for listening. Have a great night.